On January 15th, 2020, Microsoft officially released the new Edge browser to the public. After several months of public beta testing, this will start slowly rolling out through Windows Update. But what is the new Edge browser and why should you care? The new Edge browser is built on Chromium. Without going into technical details, switching what the Edge browser is built on allows us for better web compatibility, in turn creating a better user experience. Let's begin with installing. If you've been keeping Windows 10 up to date, you'll eventually have your current Edge browser automatically updated. Though if you don't want to wait, you can install the new browser right now. Open up your current web browser and search for Microsoft Edge. Here we're using Bing, but the link should appear at the top regardless of what search engine you use. We're going to download the Windows 10 version, though take note you can also download the browser on Windows 8, 7, Mac OS, iOS and Android. Remember that as we will come back to it later. During the installation process, if you have any windows open for the old Edge browser, it will ask you to close them. Once the installation is complete, you'll find that the new Edge Chromium browser has completely replaced the old Edge browser. To show you the installation, we've sped up the process a bit. Once you're in, you can sign in with your Microsoft account, be it the one you currently use, a work profile, or a separate profile altogether. Log yourself in with whichever account you wish, and then you can automatically sync your favorites, history, and save passwords from the old Edge. We'll get onto how you can sync data from other browsers in a bit. Check a few more permissions, then you're done. Let's take a look at the main window. You'll find the layout of Edge looks quite similar to other Chromium-based browsers as they share coding to run them, which is what improves compatibility when surfing the web. So what's the difference with Edge? We can start with our opening page, which you can customize to your preference. Within the page is a settings cog where you can choose between three different layouts, focused, inspirational, and informational. You can also customize this completely to choose what parts of each theme you want to see, if at all. Looking at our top bar, you'll see that the layout is similar to other Chromium-based browsers, so you can rest easy knowing that your refresh button isn't going to appear in a weird place. Over on the right, you'll find the buttons for adding a page to favorites, the favorites menu, your profile, and more settings. We'll start with your profile. We already know that you can use your Microsoft account to sync all of your data, but Edge also allows you to log in with more than one, say your personal and work profiles, or a second user altogether. This means you can have separate browser history, passwords and favorites without having to download a second browser, and you can even pin both to your taskbar, so you can have both running at once. It makes it feel like you actually have a second browser, rather than having to switch between the two accounts all the time. We've mentioned favorites, so let's talk about them. If you've used the previous version of Edge, your favorites and history will already be synced from the install. But if you're coming from a different browser, you can import all of your information from there as well. Just go to Settings and More at the top right, then click Settings. On the Your Profile page, go to Import Browser Data. You can then import favorites, bookmarks, saved passwords, search engines, browsing history, and your home page from your previous browser. Alternatively, you can export a HTML file from your previous browser and import it straight into Edge. One of the biggest features that separates Edge from other browsers is its controls on privacy. The Edge browser not only allows you to restrict how websites track your information, but it makes it very simple, with you simply selecting basic, balanced, or strict controls. Selecting strict will block the majority of trackers, but this does come with the risk of some websites not working properly, so choose what works best for you. Edge also has Defender Smart Screen turned on by default, protecting you from malicious sites and downloads without the need for a third-party antivirus. When it comes to appearance, the ever-increasingly demanded dark theme is an option, though by default, the browser should match whichever theme you use on Windows 10. Elsewhere in settings, we have controls for startup, new tab pages, site permissions, downloads, languages, printers, system, and resetting the browser entirely. Modern browsers offer a host of extensions, and the same can be said with the new Edge. In the settings menu in the top right, you can click on extensions and access the Microsoft Store, which offers an array of different extensions to suit your needs. In this case, the Office extension. But what if the extension you're looking for isn't in the Microsoft Store? Because Edge is built on Chromium, you get the best of both worlds and can access all the extensions from the Chrome Store. When you head there for the first time, Edge will ask if you'd like to allow extensions from the Chrome Store. Once you permit it, you can find that missing extension you wanted and have it installed right alongside your Microsoft Store extensions. 
The last thing we will look at is web apps. For websites you visit frequently, you can turn them into a separate app via the settings menu on the right. Whilst on your page of choice, click to add a web app and name it how you wish. This will then appear in a separate window along with its own icon in the taskbar. In the Windows 10 Start menu, it even appears as an app icon alongside all your other applications. It's really handy should you want to quickly access your most used websites. So there we have it. That's the new Microsoft Edge browser. Try it out for yourself and let us know in the comments what you think of it. Don't forget to subscribe to All Things Microsoft for more on Windows, Office, Surface and Xbox. See you later.